Well, I will have to take care of my mouse here in a second. It's Hello Neighbor. I was not very excited, so I, I forget what the two other games that were looking likely that I was going to end up with. I think it was uh, like Go Vacation and Banner Saga 2 or something like that. Said I got this. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of maybe a lot of like early access kind of games as much as I played like PUBG. Um, and I think this was a early access game at some point. It still feels like an early access game despite being on a PlayStation 4 disc. This is the PlayStation 4 version. I assume this is 1.0. At least 1.0 of the game. It's buggy. Um, but I think in some cases it might always just kind of end up being buggy. So I'm going to skip past these cutscenes if I get a chance to. Okay. So basically, um, we're going to chase this ball first. And once we get up here, we're going to pick up the ball. And we're just going to skip this cutscene, but we noticed our neighbor blocked somebody in the what's it called. And we looked in the mirror and he caught us with some kid that's screaming. So I'm guessing maybe we were playing the kid that just kicked the ball down with a cot and got locked down there, supposedly. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, you wake up here, so I guess that probably isn't the case. Like, I don't know. Anyways, so the whole point of this game is uh, your, your neighbor is doing kind of some shady stuff here. And... Um, and I don't know, we, I don't know, we're, we're, we're gonna go check it out, we're gonna go check it out. Um, so when you have like stuff, like you can, as far as I can tell, you can never be like unarmed in this game per se. So it's like, you just have to equip something that's gonna be the least obtrusive. Um, you don't really need a full inventory in this game. Um, so I'm trying to remember the best way there's kind of like as far as I know there are three acts to this game and basically when you go over here anytime you get in this guy's yard he's like hey man what are you doing he's not looking at me right now though so but if I'm like in the window he'll probably see me. He's like, <gasps> and he's gonna jump out his window and do that so so that's kind of the basis of the game and the whole point is trying to go over there and get in things um, because it's kind of like physics -y, physics -y, um, it's basically just like a lot of kind of just shuffling your way of places. So I think this is probably one of the most obvious ones throughout the game. I mean, this is like essentially the first level, but I mean like, like, oh, I'm trying to stack boxes here, but it's just not really particularly <laughs> meant to do that per se, but you can do that. You can get on the roof here. And then you can just start throwing yourself on the ground is what you should start doing. Uh, I'm actually going to pick these boxes back up because having boxes is helpful. And so you just kind of collect a bunch of materials. Like a bu it's kind of like a gone home thing where you just click. You can just kind of pick shit up if you want. And, uh, and uh, he's going to do that. He's probably going to get mad at me doing this. But I'm in here now. And then, so when you go inside, it gets a little, like, you're like, oh, this is kind of semi-crazy. He's trying to get me. Um, it's, like, wiring and stuff all around and stuff like that. So, But it, the door is locked down there, so you can't get through. And the house is a little weird. Um, like, a bunch of levers and stuff so you can turn power on and off. So I think I can turn that windmill on. Maybe? I don't really know. I don't remember how this works. So I think if I get power, I can open and close that door down there, which I don't really want to do that right now because I think that means he can come up here. And anytime he gets close to you, he'll basically just, like, reset you to the other side of the level. So I'm going to throw that plate, and I want this key. Uh, it's like these boxes and stuff just cover so much of the screen up. You just, they're awful to have. Um... Also, like, stuff is weird in how it, like, behaves. Sometimes you just, like, randomly get thrown in the air. Sometimes you'll just randomly die. Um, 
Okay. So break that. And I think that's all we need this key for, but I'll probably throw it in my yard just in case I need it. Let's open that door. Just throw it over here. I don't think I'll need it, but okay. Take this chair with me. Sofas are weird, but I kind of like them because you can just like throw them in walls and then it just like freaks out. Um, and it actually is kind of helpful for some puzzles and stuff. Um, so I'm going to open this. He's downstairs breaking his windows and stuff. Um, so we got, I don't remember if there's anything of value down here yet. There might not be. It's kind of like, I almost find the earlier stuff kind of harder to deal with at times. Dang it. Oh boy. Um, because it's just like, there's so much smaller spaces to get around. There's not really ways to get away from him per se. Um, it helps that I have played through all this stuff before so far so I think that's all I need that key for so we'll just toss it over there too I forget where the yellow key was this is like a magnet so basically I can like pull in metal objects so I can find that key and throw it over here um, it's convenient because like some of those rooms are like filled with trash and you don't really know like when you'll need something um, so I think, but then like sometimes you're like, oh, I, I know I need to get in there kind of thing, but this guy is just going to sit here and chase me around. And I'm like, because I played through this, I already know that I'm doing that basically. But, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, it can be a bit, a uh, bit frustrating because you're like trying to solve a puzzle and then he starts busting out <laughs> at you and you're just like oh, man I just need to I literally just need to stack these boxes and get up to the thing I need to get up to and I can't so after you beat that section of the game basically you're kind of reintroduced to the house again um and it's a little crazier there's like a bunch of like buildings and stuff up there I don't remember if this save is at the beginning of this chapter or at a random point um, you can shut off the power to the house, so it's actually kind of important because, um, as he starts chasing you around and stuff and catches you, um, so, this is, like, one of the best ways to run away from him is go up the ladder, because he takes forever to get up the ladder, and then you just kind of do whatever you need to to get away. I think this is mid-chapter because I think I am already, have already taken whatever that was there, and already opened this thing. So yeah, there's a camera. So now that the cameras have seen me, he's going to come here um, and try to get me from there. Um, which can be trust frustrating because you're like trying to get up this through here and, um, you know, do stuff. So there's like a bunch of weird, like, here's a water hazard with like a shark in there. And the house just kind of gets goofier and goofier and weirder. Um, And then falling kills you, so try not to fall. Oh, shit. So he saw me, so he knows he's coming for me. Yep. Dang! And so, like, in this case, the, the goal is to basically get out because you were trapped in this base, his basement, essentially. And, um, you just need to escape. Um, you gotta get the red key to leave. Um, I think there's multiple ways to escape. Like, when I was playing, I don't think I ever did this thing. Like, I think you might be able to get on the trampoline and then, like, jump out, essentially. Although, I feel like the fall damage would kill you. But, who knows? Um, I'm not sure the thing is. Basically, like, the whole point of this chapter is, like, there's pipes everywhere. And you kind of want to feed water around um, to, to manage how you want. Manage the house how you want to. Um... He lays down like bear traps and stuff too. So I'm actually going to turn the power out because those cameras are annoying. And because you can't go to like your side of the yard on this part, there's no real safe spot per se other than just climbing up the ladder to get away. Um, he does throw stuff at you. The milk slows you down and then like the 
tomato like blocks your blocks your vision. Oops, oopsie. Okay. Um But then it gets kinda even crazier. <laughs> so you go to I'm in uh act three. This is my last save, I believe, yeah. And I've been on Act 3 for a while. It's, it's, there's a lot of things in this game that are kind of weird that, like, I don't know. There's, like, a lot of puzzles that aren't particularly apparent. Like, for example, that water one I did last, like, the, you, you basically fill the room up with water. Oh, this is not the right save point. I don't think. This looks like the beginning of Chapter 3. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a spooky vibe to this game, but there's also like a story surrounding this guy that clearly seems to be painting him as somewhat of a sympathetic character, but yeah, you see how ridiculous his house gets in the end. It's it's crazy. Um, I just want to check something real quick here. So is this my save file? From Act 3? I think s maybe... I don't know. I feel like I played yesterday, and maybe I didn't save, which would be terrible, because then I have to redo all the things I have to do. But I'm guessing this is the save file I just loaded. That would make sense. Uh, let me try loading the save file. That doesn't feel right. Maybe something messed up earlier, which would suck. I don't think I have like cloud saves activated either, so I don't think it would have like backed up a cloud save thing. Let's see where we're at. Okay, well maybe this is the furthest save file we have, which stinks a bit. But um, yeah, maybe I could maybe I could see if I can solve some puzzles. Um, when the house is this big, like, and you're moving around, it's actually kind of hard to really even interact with him. Um, I mean. There's definitely times where you do end up in his face, but like a lot of these rooms, like these rooms in particular, um, aren't very um, connected to the rest of the house. So it's pretty rare that you actually um, get um, get like caught. Something that is kind of interesting to show you, like like I showed you before, like there's that magnet in this game um, that you can like grab keys with stuff, and like there's this part here, and I just fell out, so. Let's see. There's this part here. Where is the best place to get up back up there? I'm trying to remember. Um, let's see. What's the most obtrusive? I haven't got the wrench yet. Maybe it's just right there. I thought there was another way that I could get up fairly easily. Give that to me. I guess we're taking this box instead. So... There's cases like this where this is kind of the only way up right now, and he's there, and there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, although, uh, that's just getting to the other rooms. I think I could probably go up around here and get to where I need. Yeah. So, I want to try to get across here again. So, like, in the case of this, like, there's that key there, and you need the magnet, but there's actually something that kind of took the magnet away from me. And so, like, I don't really know how you're supposed to solve this without having the magnet, like, you can't jump in there, or if you can, I don't think you're intended to. It seems very unlikely. Um, and so, like, sometimes you can uh, just kind of make it work in a way that doesn't feel correct. So let me get in here. He starts, like, boarding the windows up, up if you break them too much, too, which is kind of like an incentive not to board them up a bunch. So you're like, oh, well, how the heck do I get this key out of here? Like, I can't grab it from here. And it's just, like, out of the range. And my magnet is stuck somewhere where I can't get it. So you're just like, I guess I'll just throw this chair in here and have it, like, glitch through the wall. And then maybe if it glitches through the wall, it'll drop the key in a place that I can grab it. In this case, on this playthrough, I do not think I can grab this key where it is. So I'm kind of boned. Like, if I don't have the magnet and I can't grab this key, then that's it. 
AI can be a little weird in this game. Um, apparently he's stuck on that chair. I'm sure if I like walked around that corner he would probably get off there uh, pretty quickly. I think me turning around also also cost him too. So unfortunately I'm not seeing my save file from beforehand. That's the autosave, that's the save three. Maybe this is... I don't know, this doesn't seem right. Let me see what save this is. I feel like I had more save files at one point, so maybe it pushes them off and clears them out, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think this is my actual save file, so while we're here, let's just create new save data. Okay. I think I can figure that out by looking over there. There's a chair here, which probably means it's it. I don't think I've opened this yet. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage down here that looks very likely. Oh, he's coming for me. Uh, and this this final act, he like does the thing where he doesn't really chase you across the street anymore. There are times that you can like sit there and bait him out though, and he'll like run down the street, and you can kind of get him to go away for a while. Um, at some point though, like this house is so complicated, it's just not even really worth it usually. There's a lot of couches and stuff because I find these to be the most useful items, and I usually end up throwing them in places that get them stuck. Yeah, this looks like my safe file. I remember getting that tank pretty late in the game and using it to break that window open. So sometimes he just like sits there and stares at you and just keeps throwing stuff at you. But yeah, he doesn't can't come get you, so or he doesn't try to come get you at least. Um But it's like I like I want to approach his house, but he's just kind of like there and annoying, and I'm just like ah, I just want to. Like, he's the gimmick of this game, so like obviously you want him to be here, but at some point it's just like I just want to get in and do the thing, but you're making this frustrating, and like going into the house is always like a death wish. It feels like because it's just like so narrow and hard to like get around sometimes, but once you get to the ladder, you're fine. So you kind of get up here and kind of figure things out from here. Uh, if you're wondering, there's my magnet. I thought it was bugged out and it was like stuck there, but apparently there's like a magnet in this room that's pulling all the metal objects towards it, which then catches that there. So I just have to like solve the puzzle of how to unmagnetize the things. Um, he's probably going to come up in here at some point. But um, I ended up looking up the solution for a chunk of this because I was just like stuck wandering for so long. And then like also, going and die. Um, there's like these two night, or two, these two doors that are like time of day doors here too, which is weird. Uh, it doesn't feel particularly useful for anything either. Um, no, oh, dang it. Um. Sometimes you just end up like walking past it and like I think it's supposed to be a deterrent to be like hey he's gonna set up more cameras if you like you know mess stuff up and barricade more windows but eh, most of the time it's all right but like half the time you're just like I just want to go through here and if he catches me while I'm trying to get through here that's fine uh, flashlights are useful but all my flashlights are stuck so let me try to get up here go around here um, so there's like this trolley here you can drive around and it's kind of interesting from a mechanic standpoint of this game because you can kind of move it around in a way you can't really do move many other things in this game other than just like you know picking up objects because you can actually like, get in it and ride it um, but it's also like super buggy and like there's a lot of times that you just like die so let me see I wonder if it's this, there's no power. Let's see. Uh, 
Bombs. Hmm. I wonder if I need to turn the power back on. Let me see. Let me see if I can turn out the die. Okay. So let's turn the power back on. Maybe it needs to be on for that. That car is running. And yeah, like, now he's just kind of there and in my way, and there's not a lot I can do about it other than just run away and find another way up. And there are other ways up, so, you know, especially now, but, like, when the beginning, when you only have one path up, it, it's not always clear. But yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I guess he's there, so I guess we'll go around this way. When he gets on a ladder, he's kind of, like, one-track mind, so you don't have to worry too much about it. And there's, like, these doors and stuff that you're supposed to, like, open, and you can just nudge your way around it. I think I made like a makeshift tower in one of these rooms. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like see, it just stepped on that thing and like sent me flying off to the right. So like, it's weird because like some of that stuff kind of feels like it should be. Okay, so power is running, so that thing is going. I'm not sure where it is. Okay, there it is. I don't know if I'll reach the next stop before the train hits me. I think it's in there. I should just go back for now. Um, like, like I think when the train comes down here, you die of fall damage often. It's a weird thing. Um, give me that chair. Yeah, you can just like throw chairs and walls. Okay. So like, you just gotta kind of be slow to some extent about it. Um, It seems like this is kind of the strategy for getting up here. So you gotta get out, and it's gonna drop you down. And I'm gonna die. But as long as it's still there, then that's okay. Um, I lost all my boxes at some point, so I guess I need to get some more boxes. Yeah, sometimes like the inventory stuff, maybe I dropped it all, but sometimes like the inventory is kind of weird. Like, the magnet sucks stuff out of your inventory, you just don't really realize it's gone a lot of the times. So I guess I'll just pick some boxes up. Mm, that's alright. That's fine. I got away from him fast enough, so... I think... okay. So this seems to be the strat I saw for solving this puzzle. Except for I stacked these poorly. Dang it. It's not particularly easy to use these physics mechanics either. Whatever. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump onto this. I think you want to do this. Nope. Is that enough? I think so. Okay, climb up here. You want to get up over to that thing. Okay. Up here. Well, nope. Uh, I actually need something to carry up here too. So. See what we can do with this. Did it. Okay. Didn't press X. <laughs> Let's jump up here. Pick this box up, this box up. Jump up here. He's gonna start throwing stuff at me, and my pillar's gonna fall, and I'm gonna die. But in some ways, like, the janky nature is both, like, good and bad in this game. Like, it seems pretty clear that it's supposed to be janky. But sometimes the game just, like, freaking bugs out on you and you're just like, ah, okay. Um. Are you inside? Okay. That's 
sorry. Chase me around. Apparently there's like multiple ways to solve these acts as well. Let's see if we can. Nope. He's too close to me. He got me. He spooked me. I've had a couple people ask me that this was like a scary game or something. There's nothing really scary about it, in my opinion. That's him right there. Okay. At least I don't feel like there's anything scary about it. Um, I mean, he grabs you, but, I mean, whatever, man. I think he's climbing the ladder, so he doesn't care about these cameras right now. Once he gets on the ladder, he's pretty set on going one way, unless you, like, specifically get in his vision. Dang it. Once he gets to the top ladder, though, he should turn back around and try to come back down, though. Doing a bad job of this. I've gotten this every time before, despite it never feeling like it probably would work. Yeah, I think he's coming back down now. Dang it. For some reason, I don't feel like I can do the railing right now, even though I've always done it before. There we go. Good enough. Okay here. I wish I had the flashlights still, but they're all stuck right now until I solve this puzzle, so the night time's kind of hard to deal with. Okay. Oh, that's right. I can't go this way. Shoot. <laughs> I think this was the bad way to go, actually. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, overall, the puzzles are pretty straightforward for the most part once you figure them out. A lot of times it feels like you're cheating the game, though. Which, I mean, it could be good and bad. I mean, like, it, I guess it makes, like, more dynamic ways to solve puzzles and stuff. Or at least it feels more dynamic. I think I prefer more curated experience, um... But I think I could say that about most games, where I'd rather them try to build something than uh, give the player the tools to try to be something unique. I hate that this box is huge. Okay, get over here. Like I feel very similar about... Dang it! I think the ramp on that top is um, preventing me from jumping the way I want to jump. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, so we had a pile full. That's okay. Come on. Let's see if we can get on the roof here and then... Oh, shoot. So, yeah, stuff like that. That's probably enough of this. Basically, I need to get on the roof and, like, throw a box in this hole in the ceiling to make the magnet stop so I can get my garbage back. <sighs> but, yeah, that's pretty much Hello Neighbor. You could just stay over here. You never come through over here. Just live your life, man. Yeah, you can duck. It's a little, little grayish. So, live your life how you want. It's not a bad game. I just don't have any strong feelings for it really either. So. Thanks for coming. Play some more Yakuza next week. There's a Mario Tennis review on my website if you want to go read about Mario Tennis for some reason. Just bump that cup. Bump the cup. That's going to be it. Thanks for coming. New article next week, too. I think, uh, is it a review? I can't remember. I think it's a review. Enjoy yourself. So be yourself. Oh, shoot. I can't stop streaming because my mouse doesn't work. Let me... All right, there we go. I, I can do it. Goodbye. Mm hmm? Hmm?